Hey, I just saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's this treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that in minute, literally? My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider-Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken from me. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness the Hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These Hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure Old Glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. See what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me, I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. 
Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey guys, I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just pinged the network out of nowhere. They're using some funky wireless protocols. I'll check it out and let you know what I find. Sharp. Uploading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, long night? Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. And we may have had too much pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet. But if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? Danicast clan, let's talk about Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've got to be honest, folks. This is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. Here's hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. <sighs> Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks forever. Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. After his numerous crime sprees, <laughs> who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> Now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I could think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast.